Hey travelers, since coming to Chimera Land, do you feel you spend too much time traveling from place to place? To make Chimera Land more enjoyable, I've got something I'd like to share with you. Chimera Land is divided into four large maps, namely Central Mount, as well as West Mount, East Mount, and South Mount. Three different faction maps. You can select a faction when creating a character. West Mount represents the Fairy Faction and is mostly wilderness and desert. Travelers keen on flying mounts can attempt to catch vultures here. East Mount represents the Fiery Hills Faction and is made up of snow-capped mountains. Graced with beautiful landscapes and an abundance of materials, it's an obvious choice for those who love scenic spots. South Mount represents the Nine Lee Faction and is where most humans gather, making it a great place for newbies as there are many resources available. Central Mount is the most chaotic part of the continent where travelers from different factions gather to loot various resources as special item drops are particularly high. Then there's the matter of selecting a birthplace, which is another important thing to know. On the map, you can see that all three factions have different types of terrains. Some prefer snow-capped mountains or volcanoes. And although each landscape is unique, travelers need to consider the suitability of the environment. Such extreme weather locations are likely to be affected by temperatures which can lead to starfall, which isn't something worth risking. So, which location would best suit your needs? The best would be a combination of plains, coasts, and mountains, as it's great for gathering supplies, chopping trees, and catching an abundance of fish to meet your daily needs. Ah, happiness is truly found in the many wonders of life. A good birth location can be very helpful in completing subsequent quests, as you won't have to relocate constantly, so choose wisely. Regions and landmarks will only be lit once travelers have explored the map. Through filter in the lower left corner of the map, travelers can learn about landmarks such as central pillars, scenic spots, giant beasts, and so on. With these tools, you'll be able to find your destination faster. After a destination has been selected, navigation can also be set with Mark in the lower right corner. If you feel you're spending too much time traveling, it's best to activate the central pillar in each region so that you can teleport to it directly. This greatly reduces traveling time and is a really convenient travel method as well. Now that we've covered the map, let's move on to factions. Travelers will only be able to enter and exit their faction's map and the Central Mount map after selecting a faction. If you want to hunt strange beasts unique to other maps, heading directly into a hostile faction map is considered trespassing, and you'll be arrested by the local law department, so tread lightly. Hence, it's necessary to apply for a pass at the harbor first. Harbors are located at Central Pillar, Kotalo Cay, Gully Plains, and Gray Plains. Once you obtain a pass, you'll be able to enter the hostile faction map to gather and hunt. Do take note that passes expire. If you haven't left when the pass expires, you'll be deemed as trespassing. Although you won't be caught immediately, it'll affect the amount of time needed to teleport home and you won't be able to use the local central pillar to teleport. If you continue to gather or hunt without getting caught, your conflict points will increase, attracting more powerful law department enforcers. Once your conflict points reach a penalty state, you'll be arrested instantly. If you die while having the trespassing debuff, you'll be exiled to the space penal colony and banned from teleporting, and getting locked up isn't fun at all. So before before entering a hostile faction map, be sure to apply for a pass from a harbor. If you find it a hassle to apply for a pass and you're in need of materials unique to other factions, you can also choose to change factions. Go to Character, Faction. Let's use Nine Lee as an example. First, tap the question mark next to that faction. 
Then tap South Mount Wall Tribute. The map will jump to the icon's location automatically, and you can then use it to teleport to the Wall Tribute. Once there, it's just a matter of using 500 Sage Jade to change factions. But remember to leave your current faction and hide your home before changing factions. Otherwise, you won't be able to change factions. You got it? Well, that's it for maps and factions. I'm sure that learning these tricks will help travelers make their way around the map efficiently from now on.